laugh at this guy. But this guy's a history maker. As much as Kirk Cousins gets clowned for his inability to win playoff games, the dude is a trailblazer. When I say a trailblazer, back in 2018, he was the first quarterback. I think the first player in NFL history to get his entire contract guaranteed. Yeah, Kirk Cousins. First quarterback, first player in NFL history to get his entire deal guaranteed. Wasn't Tom Brady, wasn't Joe Montana, it was none of those guys. It wasn't Aaron Rodgers. It was Kirk Cousins. It was a three-year deal for $84 million. And it was kind of kept under the radar. It was not made a big deal out of it. A lot of people to this day think Deshaun Watson is the first quarterback or first player in NFL history to get a guaranteed deal. But that's not the case. Now, when he signed the contract, he became a pioneer. But he never became a trendsetter because every quarterback after that, up until Deshaun Watson, it was not getting their entire contract guaranteed. Actually, no player was. Now, Patrick Mahomes, he had all the leverage in the world. He's the best quarterback in the NFL. He won a Super Bowl. All he, he won an MVP. He probably could have got a guaranteed contract. Now, when he signed his 10-year contract for $500 million, something like that, it looked like a great deal on paper, but it wasn't no great deal. It was only $141 million guaranteed. Now, that's a, a lot of money, but he had all the leverage in the world, but he still would not ask for a guaranteed contract. He signed a team-friendly deal. By the way, Patrick Mahomes is going to be, what, the fifth highest paid quarterback in 2023? The fifth highest paid quarterback? How are you the best quarterback on planet Earth and you're the fifth highest paid quarterback? I know some of you guys are going to say, well, he signed his deal a few years ago. And I'm aware of that. But that tells you how bad that contract was. It looked nice on paper. But at the end of the day, paper is not taking those hits. Patrick Mahomes Jr. is taking those hits. Now, the Cleveland situation, Deshaun Watson had leverage. Regardless of what anybody thinks about Deshaun Watson, he has no criminal record. His jacket is cleaner than ours. Most people on the planet. And the Cleveland Browns, they, had, they haven't had a great quarterback since Bernie Kosar in the 1990s, late 80s, 1990s. And they was desperate. So they gave... Deshaun Watson, $230 million guaranteed. That pissed off all the owners. So the NFL owners is like, look, that's never going to happen again. We're not giving nobody no completely guaranteed contract. It's not happening. So you see how they doing Lamar Jackson. You see how they doing him. They don't want to give him a completely guaranteed deal. Or a dollar more guaranteed than Deshaun Watson. But you gotta blame some of this on the great quarterbacks that did not push for guaranteed deals after Kirk Cousins signed his historic deal. That's Tom Brady, that's Aaron Rodgers, that's Russell Wilson. These guys, not trailblazers at all, never asked for guaranteed deals. And this is why the NFL is in the position that they're in. I mean, what good is leverage if you don't use it? And I understand they don't play 82 games like the NBA or 162 games like MLB, but it's the most prosperous sport. It's the most popular team sport in North America. Guys, the elite players should be getting guaranteed contracts because they drive revenue. Players make millions, the owners make billions. Some of this, some of the blame goes to the agents too. Because they got too many relationships with owners, GMs, per, NFL personnel. They talk their client into signing decent deals so they can get paid.
So yeah, this uh, this falls on the players, not being trailblazers, not demanding they get a guaranteed contract. Now I need to see what Joe Burrow does, and I need to see what Justin Herbert does. Will they ask for guaranteed contracts? We'll see. We'll see what happens. My guess they won't. But this is the players' fault. Don't blame nobody but the players for this situation. I'll talk to these guys later. It's corner sports there. But before I go, the players got to realize there's no NFL without them. They have to realize that. Show some unity. Think about the players that come after them. Look, I'm going to talk to these guys later. It's Corner Sports Net. What's good, y'all? What's going on? This is Corner Sports Net. Now, Jackson State started their spring practice. Coach T.C. Taylor's like, look, I was ready to get going. Players, they was chomping at the bit. But to be real with y'all, I was chomping at the bit. I was ready to start and see what we had. The defensive line, they look strong. They look good. Players was playing fast. Players was physical. I told all three quarterbacks this is a competition. The job was wide open. I was happy to see how my quarterbacks was able to break the huddle, get in and out the huddle, get everybody lined up right. They all made some good throws today. They all competed. Because we got a ways to go. I mean, we got like 13 more practices, 14 more practices. So this is only day one. TC said we're going to build that offensive line, you know, the trenches. He said the defensive line, they got after it. We got guys returning from last year. They really got after it. The sports net translation, our defensive line is a monster. It's going to be a strong unit in 2023. Going to wreck shop in 2023. Right now, they're ahead of the offensive line. But that's normal this time of the year. DC also talk about the difference in secondary. So we got great speed. We got great speed in that secondary, but they got to learn to play together. They got to get that chemistry down. TC also said, look, as far as transfer portal, it's like NFL free agency. That's the business. That's just how the business is today. My job is to coach him up, get that chemistry. I got to get him to jail as quick as possible. That's my job. The goal is getting my players ready for that game against South Carolina State. Man, I like T.C. Taylor. I, I really do. He cool like he seemed like he a player's coach. Like, I just like T.C. Taylor. I like his energy. I want to keep guys healthy. T.C., like, I, I want to keep guys healthy. The same way we started the spring is the way I want to end the spring. And he's right. He know he got a he got a squad. He got a good team. He also knows health. Good health is wealth. His guys gotta be ready for South Carolina State. All hundred percent healthy, ready to ball. Look, I'm gonna talk to these guys later. It's Corner Sports Net.